vintage cars. The Austin 7 is an economy car that was produced from 1922 until 1939 in the United Kingdom by Austin. Nicknamed the Baby Austin it was at that time one of the most popular cars produced for the British market and sold well abroad. Its effect on the British market was similar to that of the Model T Ford in the US, replacing most other British economy cars and cycle cars of the early 1920s. The Launch Lambda is an innovative automobile produced from 1922 through 1931. It was the first car to feature a load-bearing unitary body, but without a stressed roof, and it also pioneered the use of an independent suspension, the front sliding pillar with coil springs. Vincenzo Lancia even invented a shock absorber for the car and it had excellent four-wheel brakes. Approximately 11,200 lambdas were produced. The Type 35 was the most successful of the Bugatti racing models. Its version of the Bugatti arch-shaped radiator that had evolved from the more architectural one of the Bugatti Type 13 Brescia was to become the one that the mark is most known for though even in the ranks of the various Type 35s there were variations on the theme. The Hanamag 2 tenths PS was an economy car manufactured by Hanamag from 1924 to 1928. It was one of the first cars with envelope styling. It was affectionately referred to as the commisbrot or a loaf of rye bread due to its small squarish shape. The Ford Model A was the second huge success for the Ford Motor Company, after its predecessor, the Model T. First produced on October 20, 1927, but not sold until December 2, it replaced the venerable Model T, which had been produced for 18 years. This new Model A was designated a 1928 model and was available in four standard colors. The Cadillac V16 was Cadillac's top-of-the-line car from its January 1930 launch until production ceased in 1940 as the war in Europe killed sales. All were finished to custom order, and the car was built in very small numbers, only 4,076 cars were constructed in the 11 years the model was offered. The majority of these were built in the single year of 1930, before the Great Depression really took hold. This was the first V16-powered car to reach production status in the United States. Thank you for watching.